Hi! <laughs> a quick update on what is going on which is keeping me from filming. Well, let me qualify that. I could film. The orchids still have a few things that need to have happen to them and time is not slowing down. But I don't like to film when I am rushed, out of breath and unable to focus fully. <laughs> We all know the worst time to do anything with orchids is when we are in a rush or not feeling quite up to standard. Combine that with filming and keeping your concentration going with commentary. My current headspace is a little messed up to keep all those parts moving in an acceptable way. Because the other day a tube from the RO system had come loose from its setting and must have done so at a time just after I went to bed because nothing was untoward in the kitchen when I did go to bed. So when our house guest woke up and went downstairs early as he always does, he was met with water. Water everywhere. I usually get ready and stay out of everyone's way as they prepare to leave the house, so I was oblivious to what was going on downstairs. But when I heard that the house guest had left, I emerged. <laughs> oh, gotta be careful with the laughs here. I came down the stairs and my daughter was sloshing around in what was left of the water. Long story short, and before anything else, I wanted to give my daughter a massive shout out for not calling for help, for taking everything into her own hands, and making sure that I don't just come down, can't see the water, look at Siliano's cage, don't look where my feet are going, just because I always look to see if he's ready to have his blankets removed from his cage, etc. Basically, you know, you have your routine, and thinking that your floor would have an inch of water is not something you expect. Having my daughter in the kitchen with a mop would not have made me pay attention either, so <laughs> coming down the stairs, not looking where I'm going, it would have all gone very wrong with a slip and a hard fall on the back of the stairs. So a massive thank you to my daughter for dealing with the situation before going to work and getting most of the water cleaned. Also pointing patches out to me where I need to be careful. Goodness me, I cannot be more grateful to her. This could have been a massive physical disaster and not just a wet one. <laughs> Anywho, you would think that no biggie, just a lot of mopping and cleaning up. Well, yes, that is really all there is to it. However, the water had leaked into the area underneath Siliano's cage and we have a step down that leads to a sunken living room with a carpet. It had come through an adjoining door to the supposed dining room where I have my desk and another carpet. And well, <laughs> drenched much? <laughs> Never mind, take out the carpets and let things dry out, right? Right. And that is what I did. I wanted everything to be airing out for when my daughter came home during her lunch break. Return the favor, so to speak. No need to ask for help and no loud noise, just so that she can rest in peace. Happy to say that I pulled it off. Now you may think, oh, what a pansy, has some work to do when she thinks this is a massive achievement. And you are right, it really wasn't that big a deal. A headache, yes, and concern for my RO system as well, but it really would not have been that big of a deal if anything that has to do with excessive water on the outside of the property would not trip the fuses and cut the power inside the property. So, having all this water inside the property, the fuse tripped. Of course, thankfully, but yeah, it took a while for indoors to dry out enough that we had power again. Meanwhile, I took to the task of cleaning carpets. Might as well, right? Thankfully, the weather has been really helpful and the carpets are dry by now. Next thing I need to achieve is to get them inside. Talk about dreading that. Not because of the workload, but because three weeks ago, I bruised a rib on the left side in a freak jerking motion while I was protecting myself from a heavy object that had come loose and was on its way down and I was underneath. Thankfully, the object did not hit me, but that split second of movement and the position I had my body in at the time, <laughs> it was not normal. I was bracing myself for the weight that came, but thankfully stopped short of just resting on my left hand. Anyway, all of that resulted in a bruised rib, a split second and Boom! <laughs> I already have mobility issues with my right hip, which causes major discomfort. So, moving sopping wet carpets was not exactly a doddle. You know, I never knew how much the chest area is being used when mopping either until now. I usually consider mopping or vacuuming an ab workout because when I do those chores, I engage the midsection and make a concerted effort to have a little workout while I clean. This was different. 
Mopping with a bruised rib? Yeah, I've never had this in my life. Now I can speak on it and I'm like, oh my goodness. Everybody that has had a cracked rib in their past? <laughs> I cannot. Well, maybe I can't imagine, but times a hundred, possibly. And I feel for you. Anyway, I had stopped filming videos because of the rib injury. Seeing as I could not take deep breaths, shallow breathing for several days back to back had me dizzy. I was really suffering a lack of oxygen in my brain, making the basic tasks of walking in a straight line very interesting as well as standing without having to support myself, etc. So the videos were filmed where the orchid subject was not so demanding physically and mentally. But after the RO water incident, the healing of the rib took a back seat and will take one for another couple of days, possibly until Wednesday of next week, because one socket was plugged in under the kitchen cabinet where the water was splashing against the back wall, and well, that socket is history, as is the plug to the appliance that belongs in that socket, which is my washing machine. I am not a stranger of doing laundry by hand, but I can tell you, you also need the upper chest for that operation and dang. I'm back to breathing shallow, let's just put it that way. Even as I am talking to you now, I'm trying to breathe as shallowly, if that is even a word, as possible anyway. I'm trying not to laugh as I tell you all this because it really is painful. Trust, it is not the kind of pain that you get when you laugh so hard your stomach hurts. That is the kind of pain I embrace, but not this. I felt that I had some splaining to do just in case you did not see my community post the other day. I have been able to sit at my desk long enough to edit some shorts, which I am posting, but I can't be sitting for too long. I will continue to post shorts until normal service is resumed. Some of my videos need a little bit of a script so that my ADD doesn't get me off on a tangent. They help me to stay on track with what the video is about and scripting a video also takes time at my desk and I would need to be scripting now because my mental state is woo. Well, it's not here, <laughs> let's just say. <laughs> focus is totally out of focus. It has been so, so weird. I'm such a creature of habit that this rib thing and the RO deluge has me all discombobulated with my focus. It's, I'm embarrassed to admit it, but like I said, I've got some splaining to do. Once upon a time, I promise you, I was so versatile that nothing would phase my focus and what would come next if something unexpected were to happen. I used to get on with things as they would come my way and something unexpected wouldn't take me out mentally the way this is doing to me now. But for the sake of transparency, this is the current status quo. <laughs> I even sound strange to myself as I'm talking. So that is what has been going on and will be the status quo for a little bit longer. I'm hoping that someone can come and change the socket and plug for the washing machine on Wednesday after which I am hoping that my rib will settle down. I keep telling it to stop reminding me of its existence, but it's being a little bit obnoxious to say the least. I so appreciate your time listening to this quick update. Thank you so much for being here and for your continued support. I'm hoping you're already having a wonderful day on that one condition, that you stay safe. Take care, bye.